Now, we know the Tampa Bay mailman who landed a gyrocopter near the U.S. Capitol yesterday. We all heard about it. Well, he's on his way back to Hillsborough County. The judge releasing 61-year-old Doug Hughes during a federal court hearing this afternoon, telling him not to ever come back to Washington, D.C., except for his next court appearance. And he'll be on house arrest until then. Meantime, gyrocopter enthusiasts are soaring over the skies in Tampa Bay. We couldn't have planned this better. The now Tampa Bay's Cameron Polam went down to Wachula and up in the air to show us what these flying contraptions are all about. Not since the days of James Bond dodging enemy choppers on the big screen has there been so much attention on the gyrocopter or gyroplane as the experts call them. That is until a Ruskin postal worker literally delivered these head-scratching images across the nation. Though this was no MI6 sanctioned mission, the man Doug Hughes landed himself in jail. A spectacle Scott Lewis says is very easy with the miniature flying machines. They're very agile. You can do anything in the world with them. You can take off from almost any place and land any place. Well, except on the Capitol lawn, of course. Oh, this is called a ultralight. This is cons basically what went to Washington yesterday. Lewis says gyroplanes can range anywhere between around 10,000 bucks, like the one we saw yesterday, to the fancier closed cabin $100,000 models like this one. This is what, this is what powers the aircraft, and it pushes it forward. This rotor here is strictly freewheeling. And you don't even have to be a spy or have 20 years of flying under your belt like Lewis to get behind the stick. In fact, pilots only need 20 hours of training on the aircraft to become certified. Of course, I had to give it a try, and there's no doubt they're fast, able to dive and fly low to the ground or hover thousands of feet above the Florida farmlands. Lewis says while yesterday's stunt did grab the nation's attention, he just hopes his favorite pastime doesn't catch any flack. I just think he's a very lucky man that they didn't shoot him down. For the Now Tampa Bay, I'm Cameron Poland.